Okay, we are live here at Stampin' in the Valley on Sunday night. I'll wait a minute and see if some people come on. It's been an absolutely gorgeous day out, but we are starting to have some storms rolling in. So I hope that I stay live on here with you guys tonight. And we're going to make some, hey Lily, um, so we're going to make some really cute pocket cards today, and, or this evening. And um, I was all of a sudden in here and had a thought, wouldn't this make an absolutely adorable Christmas card with a, um, a um, gift card in it? And I got this idea from, uh, hi Connie, I got this idea from Connie uh, Stewart actually. And um, she uh, is a fantastic demonstrator and I watched her put this pocket together and I thought that I would pass it on to you guys. It's a, it's a lot of fun and they're very, very quick. Um, so first, let's see, what do we have? Um, the two free card kits for this month. If you place an order with me, if you are a downline or a paper pumpkin subscriber, you will receive these two free card kits. On the Facebook page, there's a button up top here that says shop now, and you can shop now on the Facebook page. Um, let's see, the holiday catalog, let's talk about that. I can't believe we're even talking about that because then it's time for me to get ready for my craft show, which is overwhelming. Um, but yeah, it's just too early and too hot out to think about this. But if you've been a customer of mine, hi Mary, if you've been a customer of mine for the past year, you are going to receive a free holiday catalog. We're also having bonus days right now, so if you um, order $50 in product, you'll get a code that you could use for $5 off of something that you might want to purchase in August. Um, remember, save those codes. Put them in a file, print it, put it in an envelope, uh, but save them because I had a few people last year lose them and you can't get them back. Um, and then we're having the uh, uh, recruiting special. If you join in July for $99, you get $155 worth of product, plus then you get a $10 bonus days coupon to your email that you can spend next month. So a lot of great things going on. And if you are a new customer of mine, you're going to receive this free uh, annual catalog. I will send you also six pieces of designer series paper that is retired. This is six by six sheets, just some that I had left over. And let's see, so we went through that and that and the card kits and I pile it all up when I, when I go through it. Then hi Brenda, nice to see you. Um, now these are the ha my happy crafting card kit class. You just email me at joannemaddie at outlook.com and tell me that you would like the, the exclusive class. It's $25 free shipping. You get two of each design card with the eight envelopes. So each card gets an envelope, of course, so there's eight. You'd get two of this design and two of this one and this one and this one. So those are eight cards. And like I said, it's $25. I will send you a PayPal invoice or you can send me a personal check or I do accept money orders. Um, you know, if you don't want to order any Stampin' Up! product through Stampin' Up! and you just like to do kits, those are fantastic for you, along with Paper Pumpkin. That's also fantastic for you um, because those, that's a wonderful kit and you see me put that, I put that together this weekend. Um, so let's just, uh, let's see, what are we using with this card? We are using Starts With Art. And if you guys are new to Stampin' Up, we always have on the back of the paper what it is and every color that it coordinates with. This is one thing that I absolutely love about Stampin' Up is that I, there's a whole lot I don't have to think about. And I like that as far as color coordination. I have a rough time with color coordination. Even in my house, I have a rough time with it. Hi, Sue. Um, so with this, these are so cute. We're gonna make this little pocket and the card is inside the pocket. Isn't that adorable? And I put my little re-inker here and just did some, um, some blends on there for ink. And so then this fits in here so nicely. And I love this Starts With Art because I love the happy colors. I used the sequence on this one. So that's a lot of fun. Oh, let's talk about the giveaway. Uh, let's see, we'll give away, um, let's say this one. And then I have a bunch of uh, things here from my stash that I haven't used. This was something with 
Needlepoint Nook. I absolutely loved that set. And just some vellum and some, you know, button or dots and cutouts and stuff for you guys to use uh, when you craft. There's even a little white bow in there. Here's a little white bow, right? <laughs> there we go. A little flower and some other um, types of cutouts. So just some extra stuff. And you will get this card also. Um, so let me put this up here so that you know what, what the giveaway is. But you'll get this one right here. Um, and, uh, you know what? I think I'll send you the Christmas one too, cause we're doing a little bit of Christmas in July tonight. Uh, so here's the second one. You paint my world with happiness. Let's stay up late and craft. So that came out cute also, right? Thank you, Sue. Thank you. So these are just, this is a nice way to use your DSP. It does fit in an A2 size envelope. This is perfect, perfect to go in here. Just wonderful, just to fit right in this envelope. And um, and it's just absolutely perfect to mail, okay? So fun with that. So here's the, there's that one. Now, um, let's talk about, let's see, let's talk about, we're gonna do the Christmas one in just a minute, because that was like something I wasn't even prepared on doing, but I'll, I was thinking, because Connie even showed like you could do a gift card in it, you know, because you could even snail down a gift card to the to the uh, Whisper White piece here. Um, and then I thought about making a pocket. And so then all of a sudden, I'm like 15 minutes to get on here. And I've got a mess all out through here. I had the rectangular framelits out. I was measuring. I had other ink out. And I was like, oh, no. But it came, it came together. Oh, hey, Brittany. It came together um, well, and I'm happy to pass it on to you guys. So let's see. First, we start with, it starts with art. Here's the stamp set. And you guys know I love this. I love the colors, and I love anything crafty and artsy like that. Now, you want to start with, here we have a Whisper White envelope. We'll stamp on that in a minute. You want to start with a piece of DSP, and this is 6 by 12. It's that easy, 6 by 12. And what you want to do at first... Well, let's talk about the dimensions. Then you have cardstock at five and three eighths. This is Coastal Cabana by four, five and three eighths by four. And then a piece of regular Whisper White at three and three quarter by five. Okay, so this will layer on top of this one. The first thing that you wanna do with your piece of paper here that's six by 12 is um, go ahead and cut off two and three quarter. And then it makes this piece nine and a quarter by six. So you cut off two and three quarter. I'm gonna do that right over here on my trimmer. And there's a reason for this. Connie Stewart is one of the greatest people for saving paper. She really gets things, um, I don't know, it's like, oh yeah, and then you could use this piece to do this with. So this is, um, this is what we have left. And this piece is nine and a quarter by six. So let me just move everything out of my way here. And we want to bring in our scoring board again, right here. Okay, can, yeah, okay, you guys can see up here. And we wanna take the six inch side to the top here. And you want, on your, with your little tool here, you wanna use the small end not to rip the paper. So you want six inches on the top and you want to score at five eighths and then Let's see, first we're gonna score at five eighths. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. I have my directions off to the side, can you tell? Uh -huh. Okay, six score at five eighths, yes. Right here, scoring at five eighths, right there. Now we're gonna turn the page, turn the paper to where this is the long part, the nine and a quarter. And then we're gonna score at two and three quarter, right here, two and three quarter, and seven, two and three quarter and seven, just like that. Let's do our Christmas paper while I've got this here, not to move it back in. I just took some retired paper that I found and I'm gonna go ahead and this is um, six by uh, 12 and I'm gonna go ahead and cut off my two and three quarters of an inch right here. Then that makes it nine and a quarter by six nine and a quarter by six now this is. We're gonna take the six inch side, put it up here at the top, 
and with the small part of the, of the tool at 5 eighths, we are going to score. We're going to turn our paper. We're going to score at 2 and 3 quarter and 7. It's that simple. It is that simple to make that little pouch. Now, let me move this away. Okay. And now I'm going to show you how to cut this. Where this is scored here, you want to come in right here at a little angle because you want a little, you need a little room. So, wait, I'm on the wrong end. Whoops. Where it crosses here, where it crosses, make sure that you see where it crosses. That's what made me stop is I didn't see this line here. Okay, so where it crosses right here on the middle section, come in. You're just going to kind of miter the corners a little bit. And you're going to cut that tab right off there at the score line. Just like that. And then we're going to do the other side. So again, angle it and then cut this off. All right, right there. So that's the piece that we are left with. This is what it looks like. Hi, Judith. Hey, um, Judith, check your messages. Um, you won the giveaway last weekend, and um, so I just need you to just PM me your address, and I will get it in the mail to you. Uh, so thank you so much for tuning in. Now I'm going to take my bone folder, and I'm going to um, fold these over. And you want your seam in the middle, okay? So like if you put the thicker one on the top, it's off center a little bit. So I kind of, I like my seam in the middle. It's not, not really a big deal, but you know, just to make it look nice, if you want it in the middle, there is a way to do it. And then you're going to fold this up on the bottom right here. And if this buckles a little bit, just trim off more of this paper here. So this is how we're gonna do this. Oh, this is so cute. So adorable. And, oh my goodness, oh how nice, thank you. Thank you, Judith. Um, I tried to cut out my little hole here that I wanted to use, um, like Connie Stewart did, with my two inch circle punch, and my two inch circle punch is broken, so I had to improvise. So I used my pretty label punch. And then on another one, I used my one inch uh, round punch, circle punch, so that, we just had to improvise a little bit, and I think tonight I'm going to use my Pretty Label Punch. So now what I want to do here is put some Tombow, because um, you can snail it, but I just wouldn't want it to pop open. So I like to use the Tombow. And we're going to fold this over. And make sure your top meets nicely, and it does. And now a little Tombow down here on your flap, that's all you need, and fold it up. And this is your pocket for your card. Isn't this fun? So like I said, I wanted a little cutout here, and my two inch circle punch is broken. It's out. I've had it for uh, six years, so um, I'm okay with that. I'll just have to, hi Laura, I'll just have to order another one. So I decided to use my pretty label punch right here. And I just put it in half halfway, and it gives me, or even, you know, a little bit, like about a third of a way. You see where I'm at there, guys? And it will give you a nice little scallop look there, so I was okay with that, too. So there we go. So I think that came out cute. Just a little something different. You can always improvise with what you've got, guys. Let's move this aside now. And let's see, where are we at here? Where's my pieces? Here they are. Let's do some stamping, okay? Right here on our Whisper White piece that is five by three and three quarter. And my colors that I'm gonna use uh, because of this paper right here are Crushed Curry, Coastal Cabana, and Calypso Coral. So I wanna open all three. Put this on here. I'll get my Coastal Cabana open and my Calypso Coral. Now, what I wanna do is stamp on the inside. Um, let's stamp Layton Craft, I love that. 
I love let's stay up late and craft and I'm going to do that in my crushed curry right here because there's sometimes when I can't sleep I am up late and crafting or sometimes it's the middle of the night and I just get up and I'm like yeah uh, <laughs> so I'll just go ahead and throw a card together yeah it's two o'clock in the morning <laughs> Yes, this would, I believe, this would make a very pretty invitation, Mary. I think that's a great idea. So now with this, um, what I want to do is take my piece here, and this was the piece that we cut off at first, that we cut the um, two and three-fourths off, so it's six by two and three-fourths. And I'm going to use this side over here, and I'm going to use my Tuxedo Memento Black Ink, and I'm going to put on there, You Paint My World With Happiness. This is how we're gonna make this on the outside of the card. And if you didn't want that side, you could always use this side, but I think that would be too busy. I wanted it to contrast. So I'm just going to stamp this on the DSP in black. Beautiful. And now I'm going to take my pretty label punch and punch this out. Let's see, we're still on, right? It is thundering here like crazy. So I was like, I was a little worried about um, staying on Facebook. You know how that goes sometimes. Okay, now I'm going to put some dimensionals on this. Let me pull the backs off. All right. Now, with this right here, with this piece, I'm going to use my sequins. I love these three little sequins. We have buttons and sequins, and I wasn't sure which ones I was gonna use, but I've decided to use the sequins. So I'm gonna go into the crushed curry and just go into the corner here and here. And I'm gonna get my envelope while we're at it. Here, and then on the back. All right, just keep decorating in one color. Then I'm gonna use my chamois over here and clean that off. And I'm going to go into the Coastal Cabana. And I'm just gonna kind of turn this so that it just looks like sprinkles of sequins. And just here, main camera, okay. And then on the other side here. And I'm gonna clean that again. And now we're going into the Calypso Coral. Just some sprinkles of sequins. And I know I work with this upside down, but it doesn't matter because we want this to be just be scattered. Just like that. That Calypso Coral turned like the lights on, right? <laughs> Love that. Love that. Sometimes it just takes one color to um, bring things to life. So there we go there. I'm cleaning my stamps as we go here. I should clean this one, I've got black on it. All right, good. Now, let's go ahead and attach this just with some snail. And this is just the um, Coastal Cabana, and it is five and three eighths by four. Five and three eighths by four. You can always go back and um, you know stop the video, get a pen and paper, and take the measurements down. After we, do you guys hear the thunder? It's like really <laughs> bubbling up out there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice. Okay, so we have our the inside of our card. You can write a sentiment. Let's see, where did the outside go? Right here. And what we're going to do is take this beautiful, um, this organdy striped ribbon, or organdy, I guess it's called, not organdy, <laughs> organdy striped ribbon, and we're just gonna make a knot. Not really a bow, just like a knot bow. Um, I just, you know, tie just a square knot 
This way it's not too bulky. Let's hold it with my finger. I work off of the spool so that I don't waste any ribbon. Sometimes it can get a little awkward. I'm gonna bring that under there. Did I get it? Yes. Okay, but I need that to go just a little tighter on the bottom. All right, and here we go. So pretty, pretty, pretty. And then I'm just gonna take these, have you seen me do this to get them even? I stretch them up together and just hold them. And then I take my snips and I cut them where I need them. And I want these a little short. Let's see. And on an angle, just like that. And this is all the ribbon that I waste. That's it. Okay. Now from here, we're gonna go ahead. Oh, that came out so cute. And I need this to the side. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my contrasting um, little embellishment here, and I'm going to put it on the ribbon and on top and bottom, and it's gonna hold everything in place. And then this is just gonna be like that. Cute outside of the envelope or I should say of the card. And then this goes inside. And there's our card, I love that. I absolutely love this. So I will make these like crazy for Christmas. Now, let's get to that. Let's get to the Christmas one, okay? Let's close these up. We have got to do this Christmas one. In fact, I'm gonna include the Christmas one in the um, giveaway. Okay. Hi, Sue. Oh, I'm glad you love it. You know, this is something, guys, that you can really um, mass produce, totally mass produce these. Now, with this Christmas one, I have this Christmas paper here, and here's the other side of it. And um, I don't know where this was from. It's some retired something or other. Now, with this, I want to embellish the inside of my paper just a little bit more. So I'm going to cut a strip because this is the piece that we cut off, the two and three quarter piece that we cut off of the um, six by 12. Then it made the six by 12 piece nine and a quarter by six. This is the excess. So here I'm going to take it over and trim off one quarter of an inch. Just like that. Now on this side, now we're going to stamp, um, or no, I made, my, I made my embellishment, okay. Yeah, because I did this just a little, little bit different. What we want to do right here, oh, I can't do it on here. Oh, yes, I can, yes. I was going to add some paper down here. This is not what I'm gonna do, I'm sorry. Let me back up on this. I want this piece of paper cut at two and three quarter by one and three quarter so that I can decorate my little um, pocket. I am so sorry. Um, let's see, two and three quarter by one and three quarter. And I'm going, now this little pocket is a rectangle framelit. Let me get to that. Here's the rectangle framelits. And it is the third one in. This one right here, the third one in. And then I cut it in half. I cut it at two and an eighth. And in the giveaway, the other half is in the giveaway. The other half of this is in this giveaway right here. Okay? So I took that, I cut it out, and I cut it in half to make my pocket. I love my stitching around it, but I wanted something to decorate it up. So I'm going to place just a little DSP right there in the middle, just to decorate it up a little bit. You could actually use this side. Why don't we use that side? I kind of like that better, don't you? I like that a little bit better. Let's do that. So I'm going to decorate this just with this little piece right here. And like I say, you can do this with any DSP that you have just to make this just a little something. Um, so I, I love this and I just, uh, what I did was I just took a little 
Tombow around the edge here and stuck that on and this is a 20% coupon but as you could see a gift card would fit in here nicely this piece of whisper white is just like what we did on the other cards and it is three and three quarter by five and then our piece right here is five and three eighths by four so we're ready to attach this to here let me put that back up in the giveaway and I use the winter wood set because I love this little, um, I was gonna show you what it looked like. It's not a cling, right? Oh my goodness. Um, I love what that looks like right there, uh, the little pine cone. I could put pine cones on anything, anything. Oh. So there's the inside of this card. So let's go ahead and I want to decorate my envelope with my pine cone. And then one back here. Cute, cute little pine cone. And I just kind of made them dancing across the top there. Okay, now this will go inside the card and we have our envelope done. Let's go ahead and cut this one out. We already have it scored because we did that at the beginning. And now we're gonna cut this one out again, just like we did. Make sure that you're where your score lines are cut on an angle up to it and cut this tab out. Same thing on the other side, cut a little angle up to it and then cut this tab out. Just like that, oh, wonderful. This is how quick I just want to show you guys how absolutely quick this can come together. It's so fast. And I just do that. I take my bone folder, fold the bottom, a little Tombow. So quick and easy. I had to do a little like Christmas in July. I had to because it's time to do that. And so I thought, what better way to do it with Miss Stewart's um, idea here and a nice little gift card. You could, oh, this would be great for birthdays. And like uh, one of my customers said, an invitation. I think that this would be fantastic with all of that. Get that to go down. Use our bone folder. Things nice and flat. Let our Tombow take hold, beautiful, just like that. Now, um, let's see, I need some retired, I have some retired ribbon right here. I loved this ribbon and had the silver in the middle of it, isn't that pretty? I'm just going to tie this around here and do the same thing, making the knot. Just a nice little square knot here. And this time I'm just gonna cut it off because I know how much I need. All right. Flip that under there. Make a nice little knot. Oh, that came a little loose. Ugh. Nope, I don't like it came too loose. That's okay. We'll use another piece. <laughs> That's the greatest thing about being live. Let's just do it this way. Hurry. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. We need it to be, you know, not tight where it bows it up, but, you know, tight enough to where it holds onto, onto the card, onto the piece of card stock, I should say. If I wasn't on camera, I'd have this done in two seconds, right? You, yes, I, honest to goodness, these are so quick and easy to make. And I think that they're a big winner um, as far as when somebody opens something like this up. I think that this is a win-win 
you know, whether it be, oh, that is so cute. Okay, there we go. There's our nice little knot. These, these will be just so, so fantastic. Now I'm going to take my um, Pretty Label Punch again and go in about a third of the way. Punch out my notch there. And now here's our envelope. Here is our card. We're gonna put this in here. Isn't that cute? Gift card and all. And then I had made this embellishment, thinking of you this season. It comes from the Winter Woods. This was carried over in the catalog, Winter Woods. Love that because I like the tree on it. And I'm going to place this right over top of this ribbon, holding it in place at the same time and letting our little bow knot, knot bow or whatever you want to call it, um, show right there this is so cute so this is going in the giveaway not with my coupon though and <laughs> so, so you could put a gift card you could put a little money in there um you know yeah this is just great for christmas fast and easy and what a nice way to use your dsp so there's that one we've done let's line them up here now we've done that one we've done this one that one and did I do it? Yes, and one more. Okay, so let's see. The giveaway is going to get these goodies. Let's see, I have some colored dots here for you guys too. These goodies right here, and you're gonna get this card, and this is the insert in this card. Okay, that's the insert there. And then you're, I'm gonna give you the, um, the Christmas in July one that I made on camera here and that one that was a last minute thing that i was thinking of guys last minute so that's the giveaway these two cards and some goodies and we're good to go thank you so much for being with me this evening and dropping in here at stamping in the valley and uh watching me craft it up a little bit and hopefully i've given you some great ideas uh, for something new to send to someone uh, and maybe some of your Christmas cards this way. I'm sure you guys can really decorate some of this stuff up like crazy. Um, you have a lot of surface here and it would really look cute, I think, with some reindeer and maybe a sled, you know. I mean, just, I think it would make a really, really cute Christmas um, card. A lot of people do give money and a lot of people give gift cards. This is a great way to... Um, to uh, show you know your talents uh, especially at Christmas when uh, you're giving things away thank you so much Judith I appreciate it and thank everyone for being with me and I will see you next Sunday at 8 p.m. live and we will have another great video and some more projects to do thanks again for watching and happy crafting to everyone